Alright guys, as you can see the title of this video, something really cool I picked up and I want to do a review on this because I think it's badass. So the link is in the description below, please go check it out. I've also linked a bunch of other products by these guys and other products um, that other people are putting out there similar. Don't get confused by the size because the, the actual full blown horns that have like you know what I mean, that come down, picture here. And so th those ones, sometimes they don't hold as much as these extra large cups that have been turned into mugs. So make sure you pay attention to the liters, how many liters it can hold. So without further ado, let's go open this up and pull this out and see how big it is. That's what she said. <laughs> Alright, we'll get this protective packaging out of here. I already popped it because I already opened this because this is amazing. Ready for this? Check that out. So it comes in this nice burlap sack with their uh, their company name on it there. Let's bring this up to the camera. Get a load of that. So now, we'll undo it. It's got a little tie here. How'd they get this thing in here? Holy jeez. Oh, there you go. They got their nice bubble wrap. Alright. Yeah, everybody ready for this? This thing's enormous. And then they got uh, this on the bottom. There's their logo. And it also has, if you notice, this nice, um, I don't know if that's a, yeah, it looks like wood that uh, they've got on the bottom here. So you don't uh, have to worry about scraping the bottom of the horn itself or getting it dented or knocked. Or anything like that. That's cool because uh, this this version here that I got is the cheapest one, the biggest one. So it's it's the biggest one for the cheapest. So it's not polished, doesn't have any cool designs on it. But uh, the cheapest one right now, I, I don't know about in the future, but see what time this video is dated. It come it came with a uh, Canadian ten dollars off coupon already on Amazon. All right, so my first off. Um, experience and uh, opinion on this product really cool um, you know they've got like the little handle here they, that's that's part of the horn that I guess they've peeled back somehow looks like the interior of it is um, coated with some sort of resin they have instructions on how to take care of it what happens in case of a what happens in case of a leak and uh, what we're going to do is, I think this is the extra extra large one. We're going to see just how much this thing can fit. So we're going to take a regular bottle of beer. I'm going to tell you how much the bottle is in the bottle of beer. And then we're going to fill it up with this. And we're just going to see how much. Because, like, I, I like Corona, okay? I'm a Corona guy. I can admit it. I like Corona. So what? Who cares? Yes, Mexican. Whatever. But I like the 710 milliliter bottles of Corona. They're the big, big ones. I like kind of like the 40 ounces or whatever of 40s of, uh, I don't know, whatever. So I get a better buzz off. I'm a bigger guy, so I need a, a bigger beer. I, I don't like going back and forth to the fridge and get two or three beer at a time. You know, just to get it, just to get it moving. This thing here, I'm thinking two, between two and two and three beer probably fit in this. Excuse my language, but not really, because not really. All right, so unfortunately, we don't have good beer, because I drink it all, so I don't keep it in the house. So we got this shitty Laker Lager beer, brewed proudly 
in Ontario, Canada. <clears throat> Probably still better than American beer. But it's, in my opinion, it's shit beer. Don't hate me for that. But it's cold. It's out of the fridge. It's cold. So right there, it's better than American beer. 5% alcohol, already better than American beer. There's so many things. We can have the shittiest beer here in Canada. It's still better than anything in America. So this is the test. So each each one here is 400, or sorry, each beer is 341 milliliters. We're going to see how many beer we can fit into this monster of a Viking horn mug. Because that's what it is. It's like it's a, a horn off of something. A buffalo, or I don't even know if buffalo have horn. Who cares? Let's do this. Beer number one. All right. So it's not quite half full, but that's a lot of foam. So using my Android, because I don't buy that Apple, um, there's the first beer. Okay, so it's foamy. We're gonna, I'm gonna let that, fo you know what? I'm not gonna let that foam go down. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna see how much else fits in there. Let's, let's go another one. Beer number two. Ah, thanks, Putkana. Got my, yeah, you know. There's lots of foam. I'm gonna have to get rid of that foam to see how much really fits in there. So there we are, there's a second beer. And she's quite foamy. She's frothy there, nice head. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to stir that around a little bit, see if we can fit a third one in there. Let's try that. Let's see if I can scoop it out with this thing. Look at this, this is a ladle or something. A spoon for like, look at that, it fits right in there. You gotta be kidding me. Look at all that foam. That's just foam. That's not actual liquid. Look at that. I'm pulling it. Holy, this is going to fit a third beer. This is definitely going to fit a third beer here. I'm not even, I don't have to take the rest of that foam out to know I can fit a third beer in there. Alright. This is beer number three. Thanks, Canada. Look at that. That's foam on there. I could fit a little bit more of a beer. Look at this. I am impressed. These are 341 milliliters times three. I don't know math. You do it on your calculator. Now let me go figure it out here. That's a fucking liter of beer. That. That's how you should drink beer. That's what you get a buzz on. You drink one of those, get a just just a slight buzz. Maybe you have to drink three of those to get a buzz. Maybe you're a fucking animal. Maybe you're a goddamn savage. You need three of these. But I need three regular beers just to get a little tiny something out of it. That's a, look at that foam's going down. We're gonna see we how much more we can fit in there, and then we're gonna measure out how much is left in that other fourth beer to figure out just exactly how much beer fits in this. Now. <clears throat> This is a disclaimer. I I don't. I'm not sponsored by these guys in any way, and I'm not trying to promote what they're making, and I'm not saying that every single horn mug that they make is going to be the same because it probably won't be because uh, I've never seen an animal grow like everyone's different, right? Same with animals, so maybe they're some are bigger, maybe some are smaller, but uh, their website I'm pretty sure said around 900 milliliters can fit in here and we're over a thousand already so let's keep going so this would be beer number four all right here we go here's the fourth beer number four
All right, she's starting to foam up a little bit. I didn't overfill it. It's not dripping out the sides or anything like that. Look at that. I might be able to squeeze a couple more milliliters in there, but I'm not. That's. I think we're gonna call it right there, and we're gonna measure out what's left in this beer right here and figure exactly how much I fit in there. Let's do that. All right, so I've got this uh, little science beaker thing. Please, please don't ask why I have this. And here's here's the beer. Nothing's been taken out of it. So we're gonna pour it in here and see how much we have left. So it's looking like somewhere around 150, 150 milliliters. So let's do the math on that. 341 minus 150 gives us 191. So 191, so let's try this again. So 341 times 3 plus 191. That's 1,200 milliliters. That's a, that's a liter. What's 1.2 liters of beer in that mug. Now, if that doesn't make you want to buy that, you're not a man. I'm telling you right now. If a liter, 0.2, 1.2 liters of beer in a goddamn horn doesn't make you want to buy this I think it was like 60 bucks something like that you're not a man oh you know what I think the horn makes the shitty beer taste better cheers to all you fucking savages out there that can drink three or four or five of these in a, like in an hour or two anyways so, all right guys, if you like this video, you know what to do. Comment, like, subscribe, share that shit with everybody you know. The link is in the description below. For God's sakes, just go to the description, click on that link. It's gonna bring you right to this product or several other ones. Uh, the, the other links will be underneath it, but the main link is, is the first one you'll see down there. It'll take you straight for there. Pick one of these bad boys up and drink a stupid face off and be an idiot. Because we all are. Until next time.